Goodyear. You know, the company the other guys say is the one with the blimp is in town, blimp and all. This model is the America, but the tire company owns a fleet of lighter-than-aircraft which tour the country to help promote the Goodyear name. However, soon you may be seeing blimps crisscrossing the sky with tons of cargo because it takes much less fuel to operate a blimp than even a small airplane. Goodyear's developed a new form of lighter-than-air called a heavy lifter. It has four rotor blades, sort of like helicopters on it, that lifts the empty weight, and then the helium inside the craft would lift the, uh, the cargo. And you wouldn't need any runways or any crew. It could just drop off uh, equipment and take off and pick up crew or whatever they have to do and never even land. And even if the Goodyear blimp doesn't become a major cargo carrier in the next several years, who cares? It's still a pleasant way to float around on a nice summer afternoon. But that is sometimes a problem, because the 192-foot-long dirigible has only enough room for six passengers per flight. But for those lucky few that make it up, and even the men who pilot the blimp, it's a wonderful way to fly. It's really a lot of fun. Uh, we only fly in great conditions, good weather conditions, so I don't have to go up there anticipating bad weather. Or anything. So uh, anybody that, that has an extended flight or an extended invitation to fly, uh, it's just terrific. You know, there's nothing to be concerned with, nothing to be worried with. All you have to do is go up and enjoy it. Mike Deason, Area 10 Eyewitness News.